do a written budget every month on paper, on purpose, before the month begins. Every dollar has an assignment. Every dollar has a mission. And for those of you that are married, you agree on it with your spouse. Before the month begins, give every dollar direction. See, when you plan your money out, all you're doing is telling your money what to do instead of wondering where it went. My friend Zig Ziglar used to say, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every single time. And people aim at nothing with their money every day. I'm telling you, aim at something. When you start doing your money on purpose, on paper, it'll lead you out of debt. When you start doing your money on purpose, on paper, before the month begins, you'll start saving money like you've never saved before. When you start doing your money on paper, on purpose, before the month begins, you'll give like you've never given before. And when you agree on it with your spouse, you're creating communication and you're creating a shared value system that makes all the difference in the world in agreement in your marriage. You'll see it start to affect the marriage relationship when you're doing this stuff on purpose. Now the other thing, whether you're single or whether you're married, when you start doing a budget that you're going to see, you're gonna feel like you've got a raise. You'll feel like you have more money because you very seldom would waste money on purpose. The very definition of waste is that it wasn't done on purpose. So giving every dollar an assignment is so important. I often ask audiences when I'm speaking to large crowds, I ask them, if you work for a company called You Incorporated and your job was to manage money for You Incorporated and you managed money for You Incorporated the way you manage money for you now, would you fire you? Now don't answer that, just change. It's your opportunity to change, to do something different. Now here's my challenge for you, actually do written budget. Here's the thing. Try it. Try it. What do you got to lose? I mean, at the end of the month, you did a budget and you hated it and you never go back. And Dave Ramsey's a crazy man. Fine. What have you got to lose? You lost a month and you didn't lose any money. But here's what'll happen. After the first month, it's a hard month. You'll get a little bit better at it. The second month, you'll get even a little bit better at it. The third month, even yet a little bit better at it. It takes about 90 days of doing a budget consistently and agreeing on it. That's spending every dollar on purpose, on paper, before the month begins. Every dollar has an assignment. Every dollar has a mission. Do that each month for 90 days and you'll see a big swing in the way you look at money, the way you value money, and your sense of confidence and competence as to whether we can control our destiny going forward. My friend Zig Ziglar always talked about goal setting, and I learned a lot from him about goal setting over the years. When you're doing a budget, that's all you're doing. You're setting goals for your money for the month. You're laying out what you're going to do in advance. You cannot drive your car with the rear view mirror. You can't look over your shoulder the rest of your life saying, what happened, what happened, what happened? Try using the windshield. Look forward and be proud of the way that you're faithful with the little things. It'll change everything.